Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to a review of Masochist Rat Circus, an album by the Japanese band Rikaon. Or like them. You can pronounce it however you like. Today we're celebrating the 10th anniversary of the record, so I've decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. My story with this band is quite simple. I've already reviewed their EPs Red Room and Rose, so go check those reviews out. I found this band actually because of this album in September 2014. Back then I used this site which would share information about upcoming albums from Japanese bands and Rikaon or Lycaon was on that list so I've checked out some of their singles and I've been their fan ever since. The album's production is tight, it's clean but heavy, no loudness or no clipping just the way I like it, message is diverse, the songs are mostly about love, romance, sex, relationship issues, stuff like that. Structure of the tracks is basic, standard intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, outro, sometimes it's slightly different, but it's not progressive by any means. Music on this record is actually quite interesting. As you may know, Recount started as a new metal band with slight metalcore influences, but in 2011, They've decided to expand that sound by adding lots of rock and roll sensibilities. On this record, they slightly leave that style behind in favor of a more industrial sound. They've also decided to add lots of dubstep influences, so you can hear that wah -bah 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 sound on half of the songs. Back in 2013, the only band I knew that would mix metal and dubstep was Korn under the Path of Totality record. So this album, Masoki's Red Circus, was a big surprise to me when it comes to its sound. The album's opening title track is an intro with no vocals and it sounds like circus music mixed with dubstep. It fits the concept of the record and I enjoy it. 9 out of 10, Kakusei is the first real song here and the first thing you're going to notice about it is the drumming. The drummer is on point. I love his groove, his precision, his style. He's just killing it. Also, the snare sound on this record is perfect, especially in this song. It has that boink aesthetic to it. Then we have the bass work, which is just incredible. It's audible. The bassist mostly follows the guitars, but we have some moments here and there where only the drummer and the bassist are playing together. I love those moments. Then we have the guitar work and I also enjoy it, especially the guitar solos, they're just so memorable and melodic. The guitar riffs, well, it depends on the song, sometimes we have those groovier, chunkier parts, then some more classical rock stuff, it depends on the song. Finally we have the vocals, and when it comes to the vocals of this band, I have a love or hated relationship with him, because I love his screaming and, I guess, growling, the singing. Well, it depends on the song, like in this track, for instance, Kakusei. The singing is on point, I love it, but there are some moments on this record where the singing is just fucking atrocious, especially the whispering and moaning, like... I'm like, what the hell are you doing? This is not pleasant to my ears. I have misophonia and you're just hurting me. We also have some keyboard, synth and electronic elements on this record and they enrich the sound of the album, I actually quite like them. Kakusei is a fantastic song, I love the vocals, the guitars, the bass, the drums, everyone is playing it at their best and there isn't a moment here that I wouldn't enjoy. 10 out of 10. Psychedelic Jelly sounds like a party song, I love that cheesy keyboard at the beginning. But the best part of the song is the breakdown, the dubstep breakdown. When I first heard that part I was like, yeah, this band is going to be interesting. And it is. This song is fun from beginning to the end, the chorus is fun, the verses also. What's not to love here? 10 out of 10. Overdose is my favorite song on the record, I just love the verses because of the bass sound, it's so clear, the vocals, on fire, the guitar riffs, the drumming, also. 10 out of 10. Rape Yoku to Masochist, now this one doesn't grab me at all, I just don't enjoy it, you know, like the vocals, they're just like, okay. The music is some symphony and dubstep shit. It's an interlude, but I wish it wasn't on the record. 5 out of 10. Gossip was released as a single with a music video. And I must say that I love the main melody, you know, on the keyboard. Pow, 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 pow. And the guitar riffs. 
especially the guitar solo, that's my favorite moment, but the vocals, well, some of them are not for me, to be quite honest. 7 out of 10, Kuyo no Datuya has great instrumental work, I dig it a lot, but the vocals in the chorus, well, they are a little bit too much for me, but in the verses they sound great. 7 out of 10, Taboo is the biggest disappointment on this record, because the instrumental work is actually fantastic, it's heavy, but the vocals, like, the lines are just so fucking awful. What are you doing, man? You have destroyed this song. Like, I know that it's only two minutes long, but still, the vocals are not in sync with the music, and they also sound like shit. 5 out of 10. G, Ra and Mano, this one has an amazing foundation, like the intro and the verses. The chorus, well, it's fine. The vocals, yet again, are not my favorite part of the song. 6 out of 10. And the final track, Amaoto no Rondo. Now this one has that very epic vibe to it, like something is coming. I do enjoy the guitar riffs, yet again, the guitar solo is my favorite part. But this song is a little bit too much for me overall. It's over 5 minutes long and I don't enjoy some of the vocals and some of the guitar riffs. It's still better than Taboo or Ray Bioko, but that's just it. 6 out of 10. And now we have 3 songs that didn't make the cut for this album, but they were featured on the Gossip single. The first one is called Zankoku no Salome, and I have no idea how this song was left out of the record, because this is a masterpiece. If this was on the album, it would have been the best song. Some of the keyboard playing and electronic elements here remind me of old school Rammstein, we also have great guitar riffs, and that part in the middle, it sounds so nostalgic and mystical. Go listen to this song right now, you won't regret it. 10 out of 10, Tsuki wa Mujihi na Yoyu no Yohu, <laughs> I pronounce that. Well, this one isn't as good as the previous song, but it's still way better than half of the actual album. Like, I love the guitar riffs, the vocals are actually great, the drumming and bass work, also. It's a fun track, 8 out of 10. Desire is an Akina Nakamoi cover, and I must say that it's pretty weird, like, it doesn't sound like the original at all, which is a big plus for me, because I love when bands just break boundaries and make the cover their own, but this one is just like dubstep song with some guitars in the background and they're singing, and I do enjoy it, but I think that the original song is way better. Still kudos to Recon for making this cover. 7 out of 10. To sum it up, the consistency is various and the flow is digestible, replayability, yeah, it's a good album, I enjoy most of it. It could have been great if we would remove Tabu and Eibyoku and replace them with Zangoku and Tsuki, because those two songs are fucking great, and why are they not on the album? Like, you would actually choose three fucking interludes on your album, but actual songs like not. Let's leave them for the singles. Why? Just why? Still, I think this record is worth your time. The highlights here are Overdose, Psychedelic Jelly, Kakusei, Kuyo no Datuya, Gossip. Check those songs out. Celebrate your mercy by spinning this record today, it deserves your love and attention. That's all from me, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram in the description. If you want, become a member on my YouTube channel, there are very cool perks, like you can make me review any album you'd like. Just everything, go check it out. Bye!